In 2006, this was supposed to be the answer to illegal immigration in the U.S. This is about a solution which we believe is going to do the job. A virtual fence that was supposed to be a high-tech wonder designed to help the Border Patrol identify and thwart human trafficking and drug smuggling. But today, the virtual fence is being panned as a jumble of weak cameras providing blurry images, unreliable radar that sometimes confuses cars for humans, and it performs poorly in bad weather. Four years and countless setbacks later, the federal government is saying enough is enough. Today, the one thing that both Republicans and Democrats agree upon is that this costly project in the desert is one colossal failure. We cannot continue to invest hundreds of millions of dollars of the taxpayer money into something if we're not confident it's really going to work. This virtual fence, which has already consumed hundreds of millions of dollars of tax payers' money has been a complete failure. So who is accountable? Just about everyone involved in the project. Two different administrations, two different Homeland Security Departments, Congress, and the company that built the virtual fence. The Boeing company received almost a billion dollars of taxpayers' money for the effort and appears to be in denial. In a statement, the company says Boeing stands behind its work on the SBI net system as a reliable, effective border security tool. But in southern Arizona, some Border Patrol agents say no technology can replace boots on the ground. Until we get something that, uh, that can look through a tree, uh, I don't think we're going to see technology replacing the agent. And what about the real fence being built along the border? Well, it only covers 640 miles. That leaves more than 1,300 miles of open border, as porous as ever. John Quinones, ABC News, Tucson, Arizona.